put aside all your other concerns and just focus on the breath right here, right now. Watch the breath coming in, watch it going out. Stay right here. As for other responsibilities or other ideas, you don't have to take them on at all. Give the mind a little freedom. We live in this world and all too often we're slaves to all kinds of things, slaves to other people's opinions, slaves to our own greed, aversion, and delusion. And so it's good to get some, uh, some freedom, some time when the mind is just simply aware in and of itself and gains a sense of solidity inside. Because you look at the opinions of the world outside, the things that make us run around so much, what standards do they have? Well, the world doesn't have any definite standards. Some things come into fashion, they go out of fashion, back and forth like this. And when people praise something or criticize something, who knows what standards they're using. Maybe you may have done something really wrong, but they like it, and so they'll praise you. You may do something that, that you know is right, other people will criticize you. You can't let yourself get worried about that, and you've got to have some, something solid inside. That's why we meditate, is to get this sense of solid well-being inside, so we know what's right and we know what's wrong. Because we've developed our powers of perception, our powers of judgment, so they're really sharp. So they're not, we're not swayed by other people's opinions, and we have an independent source of well-being inside. That's what a lot of freedom is, is having your own independent source of well-being. So you don't have to be a slave to every word that other people say. And you don't have to be a slave to your own defilements. I mean, greed, aversion, and delusion, these are actually even worse than other people. Other people will try to order you around some of the time, but these things will order you around all the time. So you want to be able to get that sense of solid well-being inside. So you can free yourself from these things. You look at them, the things they say, do you really want to believe them? When you're hungry, you might say yes, but when you've got a sense of well-being, a sense of nourishment inside that comes from the meditation, then you realize, no, you don't want to be a slave to this. So use the meditation to free the mind from its inside and its outside slavery. Give the mind a chance to be its own self. That kind of freedom is the most important there is.